Guys, crew man here, and I have just spent probably the last three and a half hours working with BZ Miner to see if the ARC 580 can GPU mine. The answer is right after a word from our sponsor. I'm getting line of style good at this. This video is brought to you by Crypto Miner Bros, your one stop shop for all of your ASIC mining needs. Whether you are looking for one to two small ASICs to heat your home or to fill up an entire industrial container full of ASICs, Crypto Miner Bros has you covered. Their prices are all in, shipped to your door, so there will be no hidden or unexpected fees. And they have all major manufacturers and all major kind of miners. If you are looking for something new, I would personally recommend picking up script miners now before the new year and before prices go up because frankly, prices are only going to be going up right now and they won't be going down. So don't miss out. Get everything before it's super expensive. And remember, use code CRUITMAN with two zeros, K-R-0-0-T-M-A-N for $70 off your next order. And thank you very much to Crypto Miner Bros for sponsoring this video. Right, guys, so you can see the setup right here. I just want to go over it real quick. It is hooked up to an Elmore Labs version 1 PMD. Version 2 is coming soon. That is only hooked up to this server power supply. This crappy PC right here is just uh, hooked up to its own power supply. So this power reading is accurate. Please ignore my gold shell miner. Although if you want to pick one of these up, use code CRUITMAN for 20% off for the first three people who buy one. Anyway, back to it. We're going to go ahead and turn this on. Basically, the plan is... Uh, we tested a few algorithms and uh, we, we're going to use iron, we're going to use fish hash on this, and then a lithium. Now I know a lithium doesn't exist anymore as far as GPU mining goes, but it will give you an idea of what this thing does. And then I will go over my thoughts with each algorithm, and then I'll go over my thoughts as a whole. So the first test we did was we chose fish hash. So here is what it can do. It gets between... 11 and 10 and 11 mega hash right here and it only shows you can see the power at the wall which is about 71 watts it's not even close to accurate as we're about 127 watts right there it had a quick spike i don't know why that happened anyway as you guys can uh, basically see it's not good to give you a comparison, the 3070 gives you about 38 to 39 mega hash on average at about 110 watts. I had talked to BZ Miner when we did this, and I was like, "Are you confident in your, you know, your fish hash miner?" And he said, "Yeah." And he said, "Look, even if I could double it, right? Like when he he says even if he could double it and get it up to about to about 22 mega hash." at i don't know he thinks like 22 mega hash at about 120 ish watts it would still be about half as good as a 3070. i don't know what it's doing right here but we ran it for about 30 minutes so memory algorithms basically on this thing are not good they're they're basically a dud so like i said even if he were to increase the output by half where you got this thing at about 24 mega hash at about 110 ish watts still about half as good as a 3070 so let's go check out the core algorithms right now here's our core task we're mining lithium you can see that we're getting about 946 on the mega hash at 171 watts so look as far as the core goes the core is definitely better than the memory bus on this thing because if you compare it to the numbers that I could find for an RTX 3070 now this is just on what to mine they're not perfect numbers but we haven't been able to GPU mine a lithium in a while but again this is just a rough comparison so 1.2 giga hash at 110 watts this is 171 watts at less than a giga hash now right let's assume that you know we can OC this or undervolt this properly so let's say if we undervolted this thing we could get it down to I don't know maybe we could shave off about 30 watts right so maybe we're looking at about 140 watts for about 955 on the mega hash which still puts it worse than an RTX 3070 right 
Now, I had a feeling that this wasn't going to be that good. So, ready, if I close Elysium, right, and we go look at this idle power draw, the idle power draw of this thing is about 35 watts. The idle power draw of an RTX 3070 on one of these rigs right here is about, I want to say like 20 to 24-ish. So, this thing is already going to be less than efficient, right? Now, obviously, it only costs $280, which isn't bad, but an RTX 3070 costs less than that right now. I think I've been, I mean, I've been selling mine for between $240 to $260, mostly around the $260 mark now, but they were way cheaper before that. So, the point is, if these cost the same as these, and they do what we just said, they're dead in the water. Now, again... When we talked about fish hash, we said even if we doubled the performance, it would still be 22 mega hash or versus 38-ish mega hash. So that's a dud. And with the lithium, even if we were able to somehow overclock this thing, which we checked, we weren't able to overclock it. We spent a lot of time doing that. We maybe could get the power. Now I'm guessing, right? But we maybe could get the power to like... What, maybe like 140 ish, which is just a bad 3070. I think I I did I looked at one of my videos. My 3070s were getting like 100 or 1.3 giga hash ish when I was just single mining lithium. Anyway, guys, PC gamers rejoice! This thing is crap at mining and will not be a miner. I don't think I'm wrong on this. I think we we're able to do just enough testing where we were able to figure out that it was a bad miner. Now, obviously our results are not perfect, but I think they're good enough. So like I said, GPU miners, I'm sorry guys, this is a dud. Gamers, rejoice, you're saved. All right guys, that's it for this one. All right guys, that's it for this one. I'll have an ARC B580 gaming review out uh, tomorrow or Friday after this filming on, this is getting filmed on a Wednesday. That's it guys, peace out. See you on the next one.